so ltx video recently released 0.9.5 and it brings out tons of feature and i will create video one by one explaining these workflows running these workflows but you can follow this video have a basic idea how to set up download the models and most of it will be really same and similar to go for so in this video i'm going to show you how to do frame interpolation i have already made tons of video for text to video image to video by using 12.1 hunian video sky reels you can follow subscribe the channel like this video for more similar content now in this video frame interpolation if anybody doesn't know frame inter interpolation so you just provide the start frame and the end frame and then we expect from the model to generate the video so that the frame so that the video starts from this frame and ends the video at this particular frame so let's start the video so i'm going to use run pod since i'm using macbook m1 with 8 gb of ram and there is no way that it will be able to run this model so i'm going to use run pod for run pod i'm going to use the community cloud then I'm going to work with A6000, which will going to provide me 48 GB of VRAM and 62 GB of RAM. So I'll just click on it. Then for the template, I'll just simply use PyTorch 2.4 and CUDA 12.4. And I'm going to edit the template. I'll increase the space to, let's use 80 GB. And I'm going to expose the ports of 4000 and 8188. Just set the override and deploy on demand. Once you get this running, you just have to click on connect then start the web terminal. So once you are here, you can follow the video locally if you want to run everything locally. Now I'm going to install ConfUI. If you have already installed ConfUI, you can skip this part. I'm going to install ConfUI plus ConfUI manager. So you just go to the GitHub page of ConfUI, just click on code, copy the link from here, go back to the terminal. Now I'm going to CD into workspace because we have mounted our 80 GB of space to the workspace directory. Now once you are inside workspace, so I'll just quickly explain you basic commands cd is for change directory if you do ls means list the current directory which is workspace which is nothing inside it so you just have to say git clone and paste the url we just copied from the github page of confui just hit enter and in just matter of seconds it is going to install i'm going to clear the screen now if i ls you will see that we have confui now we go inside by saying cd confui you can hit tab to auto complete now I'm going to install all the requirements for that. You have to say pip install dash r requirements.txt and just hit enter. Now I'm going to clear the screen once again. Now I'll install ConfUI manager. Just go to the GitHub page of ConfUI manager, search on Google, or I will leave the link in down description. Copy the link from here, go back here. Now you just have to go to the custom nodes. So you say CD custom nodes and similarly git clone and paste the link. Now do note that if you are running this locally, you will have to be installed the git and python so for that there are tons of videos on youtube you can see how to install git and how to install python on windows or on linux depending on whatever you are if you are in on linux definitely you have already installed git and python i'm going to clear the screen and cd 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 dot dot once again to go back to the configure directory now we have to download the models and put them in the correct path so if I take you to the repository of ConfUI LTX video, and if you go below, then you see that we just have to download two models only, which is the LTX video safe tensor and the T5 encoder. Now you can install any T5 encoder. So they just give the example. I'll just click on it and you have to put it inside the text encoders. Just open it in the new tab. We will go with T5 XXL FP8, copy the download link. Go back to the terminal. Now you have to say CD models and text encoder. Now for downloading, you have to say double get and paste the link we just copied. And just like that, it is going to download the text encoder for you. Now I'll leave the link to this page in down description. You can go to the LTX video of again paste repository. Now we are going to go with 0.9.5. We'll just click on it. And just copy the download link. Now, if I show you, you have to put this inside the models of checkpoints. Now, until it is downloading, I'm going to create a, another terminal, going to the run pod and open a web terminal. Now, you have to say CD, workspace, confui, models, and checkpoints, and hit enter. You have to say double get and paste the link of the model. Now, we will wait for it to download. All right, once you have set up and downloaded all the models, we will simply run the confui. Now, in whatever directory you are, make sure you are the last one says confui. So if you are inside here, you can say cd dot dot 
then you are inside the model you say cd dot dot now you are inside the conf ui now for running the uh, conf ui you just have to say python main dot py dash dash listen at 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and hit enter all right once you get this url from here you can click on it if you are running it locally but since we are on cloud go back to my course you'll see that http service 8188 is ready just click on it and just like that you have the conf ui running on run pod now we need the workflow so for the workflow i'll just go back to the ltx video github repository since i told you we are going to work with the frame interpolation i say download workflow then copy it from here go back to the conf ui hit command v or control v to paste now you'll see a bunch of missing nodes for that go to the manager install missing nodes and install both of them one by one now we need to restart hit confirm then after few seconds you'll get another dialog just hit confirm now if you're still getting this uh, red warning missing node for that you have to close go back to the terminal hit ctrl c to close i'll just clear the screen now similar to we install conf ui manager we will similarly install these nodes so you just have to say cd custom nodes now if you ls then you'll see that we will have a bunch of nodes one which we just installed now just go back to the repository then in the code just copy the link then say git clone and paste the link now if i ls then you'll see that we have another ltx video now you have to say cd and conf ui ltx video let's clear to see what is going on now you have to install all the requirements for that you have to say pip install dash or requirements.txt hit enter now once all of this is installed go back to conf ui by saying cd dot dot cd dot dot now once you are inside conf ui you have to say python main dot py listen at 0 dot 0 and hit enter now once it is running go back to the workflow and restart it now just like that all of the missing node error will be gone now we will set up few models which we downloaded in the load checkpoint just select the model we just downloaded i'll just select this one now inside the clip select which we just downloaded which will be this one now i'm going to use these same images i'll just download it then i'll download the end image it is available inside this path just download now go back to the workflow and i'm going to select them from here so if you want to get a in-depth understanding of the workflow let me know in down comment section i'll explain you every bit of it for now i'll leave everything as it is i just want to show you how to run it here you just have to provide the prompt how you want to what frames you want to interpolate between this start and ending frame and i'll leave everything default as it is now in order to run the workflow you just click on q or hit command and return for it now if you, if i show you the terminal then you'll see that it will start to load the models all right so the prompt is executed in just 40 seconds it is really fast and yeah uh, definitely i'm using really fast gpu over here as well which is a6000 and uh, this is the output video so this one was the start frame and this one was the last frame something like this so this is the prompt we gave all right so i just changed the prompt a little bit which is in the mid of frames there is a night and a day time lapse and it generated a little bit different video so i if i just show you the start and this is the end frame and this is the generated video which inside it added a time lapse of day and night okay i changed the prompt a little bit which is the donkey flies from volcanic to the frozen one so this is the start and end frame and this is what it generated yeah really cool so that's all i'll end this video over here if you have any doubts or any error regarding the installation let me know in down comment section but i think it's pretty cool to play with it you can change the start and end frame and really the prompt whatever you want to interpolate inside the frames of start and end so this is it i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye